Oh, hey, I didn't see you come in. Welcome back. Man, we got a treat for you today. We're gonna give you a tour of Indian Mountain State Park in Jellicoe, Tennessee. What an unexpected surprise, a hidden gem, really. Not just for RV mm -hmm. either. Um, hey, you want a cup of coffee before we go? No? All right. No, I just don't want to be accused of not offering you something to drink. We call that pulling the Nelson around here. So you sure? All right, let's get to it. Indian Mountain State Park is in Jellicoe, Tennessee. Jellicoe dates back to the 1780s when it was partially settled before the Treaty of Jellicoe gave up Cherokee ownership. Jellicoe has a varied past dating back to the Civil War era when the Union Army used the area as a muster ground. Though it has a long history, the town shows signs of it. The town looks old and depressing when you drive through it. Shops and businesses all shuttered and closed. It looks like time just stood still at some point. But then as you get close to the entrance of Indian Mountain State Park, your perception completely changes. You drive into this beautifully manicured piece of tranquility. Your eyes literally widen as you drive into the park. You'd assume from the name Indian Mountain State Park that it would be located on a mountain, but it's not. It's located at the base of Indian Mountain. It's actually built on an old abandoned strip mine, and it serves as a shining example of how strip mine land can be reclaimed and used for recreation and other purposes. The park itself isn't very big, but it does get a lot of use. It has two official walking trails that meander through the park. The Indian Mountain Lake Trail is a paved one mile loop that goes around the east bank of Indian Mountain Lake. There's also a three quarter mile loop, uh, Ballard Lake Nature Trail, that loops around the forested banks of Ballard Lake. with paved pads, all with full hookups, 30 amp power, just so you know. All sites have a picnic table, grill, and there's a bathhouse for campers. Now there's no Wi-Fi in the park, but RT Mobile uh, got an average speed rating of about 122, and Verizon also gets about 32 down. throughout the park, including three large picnic shelters. Each shelter accommodates 20 to 50 people, but you should contact the park for shelter reservations. The park has a 42 by 80 swimming pool that is open seven days a week from Memorial Day through late summer. Several ponds offer fishing opportunities for park visitors, but you do need a valid Tennessee fishing license. Um, these ponds are stocked with bluegill, catfish, crappie, and largemouth bass. The 
There's quite a bit to do in the surrounding area. We actually based out of there, but we explored Corbin, Kentucky, home of the original KFC, <laughs> one of Steve's favorite places. Uh, we also went south to Clinton, Tennessee, to the Appalachian Museum, which was totally worth the visit. It was Absolutely. quite the surprise on how cool that was. We'll have some was. videos of that coming up soon, too. Yeah. We hope you found this video helpful and enjoyable. If you did, please give us a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel. And leave us a comment in the comment section. Let us know how we're doing. Or maybe if there's something else you'd like us to cover, let us know that too. And from our family to yours, we wish you a very happy new year from Ramblin' Reflections. And we hope to meet some of you on the road next year. Happy, happy new, new year. year. If you did, give us a thumbs up. And let us know how we're doing. Well. Okay. Um, Ballard Lake Nature Trail. It loops around the forest and banks of Lake of Ballard. Yeah. Like to see, or if there's something you'd like us to cover. And how we're doing on those uh, outtakes. We <laughs> need to start this one. Mm -hmm. The Indian Mountain Lake Trail is a paved one mile loop that goes around the east bank of the middle. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> give us a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel. And don't forget to tell us what you